people-based marketing for our clients. So helping our clients really focus on how to find the consumers that they work with and make sure they're getting the right message at the right time, wherever they are. Our business is the combination of our clients' data, our data, analytics, and AI. And Databricks will be at the center of that. Fundamentally, we're in the data business. We have our own data asset about all the consumers in the United States that we share with our clients, combine it with their data to create a huge data set that's available to drive value. We have a thousand or so people that uh, leverage uh, Databricks to identify opportunities. Uh, and more and more, we're starting to use generative AI to drive that user interface so that we can leverage the data and the platform uh, to generate more understanding of what consumers need. The democratization of that data and AI ends up being the real strategic advantage that we think we can deliver ourselves to our clients. It's really critical that clients look for ways to drive a consolidation of their understanding of who a consumer is. Fundamentally, that means reaching into all the systems in your enterprise to find that data um, and sharing it uh, in a way that allows you to both collect it and align it. The transformation that's required for enterprises is quite complicated. They have to treat it as an enterprise transformation. People are aligned that it's an important to get the data aligned, to leverage AI, and to make it be something that drives the business and the business competitiveness. That's probably the biggest one. The second piece is talent. The reality is that AI is deployed in a cross-functional way. There has to be a compliance and sort of corporate governance have to be a part of that story. And you need, in many cases, a different kind of talent in those departments. The third piece is most businesses have a core thing that they do really well. And they're gonna focus on leveraging AI and data in those areas to really drive value.